So folks, what if AI could not just predict how proteins work together, but actually design new ones to tackle diseases or even cancer? I'm about to show you guys two game-changing AI models, Alpha Proteo and Orb, that are simply shaking up everything from drug discovery to material science. So let's break it down. Proteins are basically the engines of our bodies, right? They handle everything from making our cells grow to keeping our immune system on point. And of course, they're central to nearly every biological function. But here's the thing, because proteins don't work alone, they interact with other proteins like a key fitting into a lock. So one protein connects with another and that's how all these critical processes happen inside our cells. Now, with tools like AlphaFold, we've come a long way in understanding these protein interactions. Basically, AlphaFold gives us great insight into how these connections look, and it has been a massive leap forward for science. But here's where it gets interesting, because while AlphaFold is brilliant at mapping these interactions, it doesn't create new proteins that could influence or modify them, and that's where the real breakthrough starts. Now, Alpha Proteo, developed by Google DeepMind, which is the AI system we're focusing on today, doesn't just predict how proteins interact, because it actually designs brand new proteins that can latch onto specific target molecules. And you might ask, why does this matter? Well, these custom designed proteins known as binders can accelerate everything from drug discovery to understanding diseases and even make crops more resilient to pests. To break it down, folks, first off, creating a protein that binds perfectly to a target like a virus protein responsible for something like C19 is no small feat. And as you may know, traditional methods are painfully slow. So you've got to create the binders in a lab, test them, tweak them, then go back and test them some more. It's a tedious cycle of trial and error that takes an eternity. But with Alpha Proteo, we're talking about a massive shortcut. This AI system has been trained on a huge amount of protein data from the Protein Data Bank and over 100 million predicted structures from AlphaFold. So yeah, it's learned a thing or two about how proteins interact. Now, if you give Alpha Proteo the structure of a target protein and tell it where you want the binding to happen, it can design a binder protein that fits almost perfectly. It's like handing over the blueprint of a lock and having it craft the ideal key. And this applies to all sorts of proteins, uh, those involved in cancer, uh, viruses like SARS-CoV-2, yep, the one from the C19 lockdown era, and even proteins linked to autoimmune diseases. So far, the results have been absolutely mind-blowing because Alpha Proteo has successfully generated binders for seven different target proteins. And here's the kicker. They tested the AI design binders in their lab and the results were incredible. The binder strengths were anywhere from three to 300 times better than the best method we have going today. Pretty wild stuff. Then take VEGFA, for example, a protein linked to cancer and diabetes complications. For the first time ever, Alpha Proteo designed a binder that successfully connects with VEGFA. That alone is a massive breakthrough and is not just a one-time success because look at another protein, BHRF1, which is viral. In lab tests, 88% of the Alpha Proteo candidate binders successfully bound to BHRF1. And what makes this even crazier, these binders on average are performing 10 times better than the top designs we've had to date. Unsurprisingly, one of the most hyped targets was the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein, the very spike that allows viruses to enter our cells and Guess what? Alpha Proteo nailed it because it didn't just create binders for the spike protein. These binders were actually tested by top research groups like the Francis Crick Institute, who confirmed they were legit. These binders even managed to block the virus and some of its variants from infecting cells. So this tech could seriously help in virus prevention further down the line. Now, folks, of course, it's not perfect yet. For instance, Alpha Proteo wasn't able to design a successful binder for TNFA, a protein tied to autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. 
But let's be real, TNFA is notoriously difficult and the team chose it on purpose to test the system's limits. So while it's not a win, it's definitely not a loss either. It just goes to show that they're pushing the limits of it to improve it even more so. And while strong binding is crucial, it's just the starting point for using these proteins in real-world applications like drug design. I mean, there's still a lot of bioengineering work ahead, but Alpha Proteo has already handled one of the hardest parts, and now the team behind Alpha Proteo is collaborating with scientists worldwide to make the system even better. All while thinking carefully about biosecurity, because, you know, they're committing to ensuring this powerful technology is used for good, like developing new treatments and cleaning up the environment, instead of, you know, anything shady. Then folks, if you're curious about where this is all heading, well, they've already partnered with organizations like the Nuclear Threat Initiative to establish best practices. So while the technology is evolving, it's doing so with caution, which is definitely reassuring. Looking forward, they're also diving into drug design applications with a company called Isomorphic Labs and are hard at work at improving the algorithms to make the system even stronger and more flexible. And they're not doing this alone because they're teaming up with experts across machine learning, uh, biochemistry and structural biology. So yeah, the future of protein design, guys, I guess it's looking pretty exciting. Now, there's something else that I'm really pumped about because it's basically a massive leap in AI material science. I'm talking about ORB, the newest and fastest AI model for simulating advanced materials, and it's open source, incredibly fast, and even outperforming giants like Google and Microsoft. So if you're into AI, energy, or just the latest tech, this is going to blow your mind, trust me. So let's break this down. Just imagine you're a scientist working on materials for, uh, I don't know, better batteries or solar panels, things that are absolutely crucial for energy transition. Well, here's the thing. To design these super efficient materials, basically you need to understand exactly what's happening at the atomic level. And we're talking about how atoms and molecules interact, what makes certain materials conduct energy better, or how you can tweak them to be more efficient, etc. But here's the catch. Actually seeing or simulating what's happening inside these materials is incredibly tough. Traditional methods for this kind of simulation are slow, expensive, and often oversimplified to the point that the results aren't even accurate. It's like trying to stream a 4K movie on dial-up internet. It's just not going to work. And that's where AI comes in, because it offers a whole new way to look at these materials with far more detail and without all the waiting. We're talking about orb, people. It's developed by a company called Orbital, and it's built to simulate materials at the atomic level faster and more accurately than anything else on the market right now. And get this, it's based on a bigger AI model they've been developing internally called Linus. So they've been fine tuning this for a while and now it's really paying off. But Orb isn't just faster, it's five times faster than the best alternatives when it comes to large scale simulations. And that's a massive leap because we're not talking about beating some random models here as Orb is outpacing the ones from big players like Microsoft and Google in both accuracy and speed. Now here's where things get even more exciting. They've open sourced it. That's right, Orb is free for non-commercial use, which means startups and researchers looking to develop new materials can dive right in and use this tech. You can even head over to their GitHub right now to check out the full technical breakdown. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. Then if you're curious about how Orb came to be, it all traces back to the foundation model I mentioned earlier, Linus. The team at Orbital has been training and refining Linus from the ground up. So Orb is basically Linus on steroids, specifically fine-tuned for advanced material simulations. And they've even got a blog that breaks down the key elements if you want to dive into the technical details. And there's more info coming soon. So folks, there you have it. Orb, the faster, more accurate AI model for advanced material simulations, is out there. And it's free for non-commercial use. It's going to be incredible to see where this technology takes us. Okay, let me know what you think about these two models in the comments. I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. 
and leave a like and subscribe if you like the video so you don't miss any upcoming AI news. As always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.